My name is Daniel Holgate. I'm in first year doing a BSc in Maths and Computer Science. I mean, UCT, partly because it's like really close to home because we live in Pinelands, so it's really easy to get here in the morning and that. Also, it's just quite a well-known university in South Africa, so since I didn't want to go outside of South Africa, it made sense to go to somewhere close. So my disability, it's Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I was two when they diagnosed me with it. And basically it's a condition that your muscles get weaker over time. And I mean, having the disability services really like made the adjustment a lot easier. Like, I don't know how I'd manage like if I was just alone on campus, if you know what I mean. Okay, you're ready to go. A typical day, I'd wake up usually at like six in the morning, then I have breakfast, and then just before seven, usually we leave because my brother has to be at school by seven. So then I'm here from like quarter past seven um, and I just sit inside the lecture hall and listen to music or stuff like that. Yeah, I just arrived on campus this morning. My dad just dropped me off, um, about to go to maths. So I studied to study maths because I really enjoyed it at school. So it was just like an obvious thing for me to do, sort of. I've always enjoyed like problem solving and doing the actual programming. So through the disability service, you can apply to get a, like scribes and note takers. So I've also got a scribe for exams and that. So then the note taker is just someone in the class that just sends you their notes that they make in class so that you've got the notes and you don't have to make them yourself, which has helped a lot with my hands and that. So at nine I have applied maths, in, which is not in the maths building, maths is in PD Hahn. From 10 to 11 then I'm free, um, so I usually just go sit outside my lecture hall in the Leslie building. It's just not really enough time to go anywhere else, um, so and then I sit there and work for an hour. It's easier to go in the road for me because I don't have to take any lifts, um, so yeah, going all the way around. People might think it's a bit dangerous, but because it's early in the morning, it's usually fine. And yeah, I haven't had any like close calls or anything yet. So I like living on the edge. Luckily, the weather today is pretty good. But you know, in Cape Town, it rains a lot during winter. So sometimes I have to go through the wet. Um, fortunately, though, I have a poncho in my bag, which like, covers all the important parts of the wheelchair. Lunch, I don't think I've ever bought anything for lunch on campus. It's just, so my mom always makes me lunch in the morning, which is nice. Fortunately, campus is not just about working, so now I'm going to go meet my friends for lunch, yeah. I've made a couple of friends on campus as well, but like I'm not a very like outgoing person, so it's quite hard to make friends where there are like, loads of people. So like, yeah, having a smaller place to meet people that are then on campus has been really helpful. So after I've had lunch with my friends, I go home and so it takes about 10 minutes to get home usually. Just got home now with my coffee and my snack and about to get working in my room, which is where I spend most of my time at home. So, I mean, I mainly just work till supper basically, um, which is like copper six. I have supper and then I've got to do my exercises to like make sure my legs don't like get too tight and for my back and stuff. Since I can't do things myself a lot um, and my mom's not really strong enough to like help me all the time. So my dad helps me a lot with like moving around if I want to change seats at home or need to adjust myself because I'm uncomfortable or anything like that. Um, and also with maths because he's a maths professor. So like he helps me a lot with maths, which has been really great. So you, do you understand this stuff here? Because it's really easy. <laughs> and maybe for you, not for me. <laughs> what, what's this top equation going to be used for? The biggest adjustment from school to university has definitely been 
the difficulty of the work, but I have actually enjoyed that mostly because it like makes you grapple with the work a bit more and I think it like teaches you a lot more um, than how it was taught at school. For people like thinking of coming to UCT and going to university, I think for me the main thing has been like realizing that it's not as easy as school makes academics and that often seem and like also just like being open to new experiences and that and like just making the most of the time that you have. Um, yeah, and I'd really recommend university because it's a really great experience for like meeting new people.